So I saw a few pedophiles on Tiny Chat. Um, one of the rooms was High Ideas. Of course, you know me. I go to the marijuana rooms and other rooms because I can find that kind of stuff interesting, intriguing. And, you know, things revolutionaries do against the government, whatever, whatnot, may not be healthy or whatever the case may be, I like to investigate. So I saw a few pedophiles hanging out there. I noticed it was a very white area to be. I don't recommend anyone go there because it's going to help them out by giving them more views. But it's basically a bunch of white racists hanging out in there who smoke weed and support Ron Paul. So I urge everybody, do not vote for any Republican ever. The time for the Republicans to try to do the right thing and give us an Uncle Tom and give us um, you know, Martin Luther King and people like that, the time for that is over. The time for good people to step to the plate and tax the rich. Don't let the scumbag Republicans say, oh, we're going after the Fed. Because even Alex Jones, who's Ron Paul's champion pretty much, he is supported by many businesses. Okay, um, Some of them are... Um, Seed, seed bank. Um, some some guy claims to do some gold, uh, gold exchange. He claims to give you a good deal on gold, with, which is not such a good deal, I hear. But I don't really know. So you know, I, um, one of them was um, I'm trying to remember these these because I listened to Alex Jones quite uh, a few times, many days. You see, he on his commercials he talks about um, jeans, one jeans brands of jeans. Uh, he talks about um, the Patriot and Big Cal Ripken or something like that, okay? And he talks about uh, these non-GMO seeds he sells there as well. So he has certain businesses which are either scams or big businesses he's pushing to fund his website. And, you know, that's fine. But what I what I've noticed is that Everybody has their agenda, and Ron Paul is playing the good cop, bad cop routine. Do not vote for him. I do not endorse him. I do not support him whatsoever. He's supported by the KKK and the neo-Nazis and some Freemasons. The majority of Freemasons do not support him, but there are those that do. And some of them are from the Scottish Rite, and I know them well. So nothing is as it appears. Every candidate is a sellout. I received information that I could be wrong about endorsing Ginrich and that there was a conspiracy around Kane but it had not nothing to do with what I believed it did at the time but there was an experience uh, conspiracy that had to do with why he chose to endor endorse Ginrich which I can't get into the at this point it goes deeper than you think <clears throat> and as I've come to the conclusion that we must tax the bankers, we must build up our infrastructure, support the poor, and we must limit immigration as well as treat the immigrants fairly. The problem in this country are white racists, not the immigrants. The white racists commit the crimes, they are the serial killers, they are the mafia, they are the big bad guys, and the union guys, they they are the, the bankers, they are the people who shoot Mexicans at the border, the people who set up the environment for crime. Why do Mexicans and immigrants commit crime at five times less of a, the rate of a normal person, of a citizen, and, you know, someone with normal citizenship? But in L.A., you have 80% Mexicans around, you know, 70, 80%, you know, including all the illegal immigrants who aren't counted in the census, etc. And the jail is about 50%. So you have... The exception to the rules are in cities where the white man has not only designed them, but dedicated a lot of his experiments and his buildings and his liquor stores and gun stores and focused a lot of his attention on the big city. So it is the influence that the white racists and the white ignorant scum have on the normal people that is the problem. Not the immigrants, not the black people, it is the white man. That's why I will never, ever endorse any white candidate that has anything to do with Freemasonry and I will never ever ever endorse a Republican I came that close to endorsing Ron Paul out of respect for Alex Jones and all the work he's done but I knew in my gut that it was wrong and as I explored it further I realized it is wrong nice try Alex nice try Ron I guess this is that 20% of the time when you're wrong 
and that's why I am right more often than you are, sadly enough to say, but here we go. I endorse Obama for the next president, not because he's my favorite president, because he's the lesser of two evils, and the white man is a fucking horned liar. His horns are here when the snakes were together here. Know the difference. The crowns of Egypt, and they talk about the upper and lower of Egypt, and the nuances between the crowns, the nuances of the headdress, the nuances of the mercenaries versus the people who founded the empire, the black people. I am Chukwa Mecca, spiritual leader of the Crips in California, the one who called out Chapo Guzman, knowing that his cowardly ass would send his pathetic goons instead of come himself because he's a pussy. You don't see a king yourself. You don't shoot out with another high-ranking member of an organization yourself. You send the help because you're a coward. Kings fight other kings with a sword while the other armies fight. You are a coward. You won't see me with the fists. You won't see me with the swords. You won't see me with the guns. You won't even put on boxing gloves and see me in the ring. Because Chapo Guzman is a pussy. Because Chapo Guzman is a bitch. Let me tell you something about this Chapo Guzman. This Chapo fucking Guzman character that I talk about so often. You see this? Things aren't what they appear, Chapo. I may seem like an educated, soft-spoken, well-meaning individual. But when it comes to you, Chapo, when it comes to you, Chapo, I would love to put on these gloves right here, pick up said sword, put your fucking head on a guillotine, remove the top apparatus, the upper apparatus. Place myself and my blade in the position of the downcoming object, of the falling object. Raise my sword and proceedeth to chop the head off Chapo fucking Guzman. Because if you send your help, I'll send mine and do said ritual. You bitch! Enough said.